This is a DD15 engine head and it is very common to see damage on DD15 engines on the cylinder head and on this video I'm going to show you how one of these damage happens on these uh, engines and uh, this engine came, this truck came to the shop because it was making this noise as you can hear right now the noise and this uh, engine was making and um, of course right there's something wrong there is something going on internally and uh, the first thing when you hear something like that you think about and there is um, adjustment ball adjustment is not right so you need to set the la the ball adjustment uh, lash to the right the specifications so if you wonder where to find the lash uh, specification the ball adjustment specification it is right on the ball cover right here so this sticker right here is faded as, as we can see this one is faded but this one right here is the one that tells you the lash on your engine so you come over here on top of the engine and it will not tell you the specifications that you have and what is the lash for the specific intake and exhaust valves but in this case after setting the um, the valves to a specification to the lash to the specific lash then the manufacturer requires for this engine still there was some play so what happened is then one of these as you can see if you get closer See, this is the ball, the intake ball on the cylinder number two, and this is the second intake ball because it has two, four cylinder. And this one is a little shorter. This one right here is shorter than this one. This one is taller. So you can see there is a big difference. And the reason why is because this uh, cylinder head is uh, has a damaged intake ball, which is this one. So for this, of course, we have to remove the cylinder head. Uh, there is no other way to get access to this. Uh, we have to remove the components and hold the cylinder head together to the engine block. So there is a lot of components you have to remove. And uh, there is a couple of videos that I show how to do process like that in my channel. You can check different videos I have on how it's like to remove components on these uh, cylinder heads on the D15 engines. And uh, once you get all that out of, out of the way, then you can remove the head completely. And of course, once you remove the head, then you can see the damage completely. Um, cylinder head ball is completely bent, and it is bent because it hit the piston. Um, in this case, the piston didn't have any damage. It is just uh, probably, it happened only once, so it was not enough, it not continues. It, it didn't continue on hitting the piston, and that's the reason why the piston didn't present much damage. And uh, we, we uh, believe then uh, it only happened once and the ball got bent and that's it. He, 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 the engine started making sounds. So the cylinder number two was completely dead, the cylinder didn't have any power. So uh, one thing I could see is then when I was removing the cylinder head, I noticed then the intake side of uh, the cylinder head has a lot of, had a lot of fuel and this fuel was because the compression was leaking out so, so what we did is like we got another cylinder head then was already fixed and we put it on so this one in this case we have to send it back to the machine shop and get it fixed and the, the situation is like the ball in here is bent all the way in so so in, in, inside here we have the ball bend it to the side because the piston pushed it to the top so it is really hard to remove it right now so it's gonna be a really hard uh, process to remove it so that's the reason why we decided to grab another cylinder head that was already ready instead of fixing in this one so now with time we can send this uh, cylinder head to the machine shop and get a repair with no worrying about the truck has to leave because it can take its time to get it, to get a repair um, this is a problem that happens very commonly on the D15 engines. Uh, cylinder heads, uh, they get damaged. And not just this way, they, they crack 
or the valve gets cracked too. There is many ways how this uh, problem happens. I have multiple videos showing that. So uh, you can see my channel and you're gonna see different videos about it. And um, the situation is then not until you remove the cylinder head, you are gonna be able to, to see this, uh, uh, this damage. And um, that's the reason why it's important when you hear any, any sound, any like hissing sound coming from the engine, it is important to come and check, inspect the latch, the ball adjustment. And if the ball adjustment is ground, then uh, um, you adjust the balls the, the, to the latch then it's supposed to be from specifications. And if this doesn't uh, work perfectly, like after you do the ball adjustment and still you hear a little hissing coming from the engine, that means then you have a broken something in the in the head, and the head has, has to come out. And uh, it happens a lot. We have a couple engines that have problems with cylinder heads. And as I say, uh, you can check my channel. There is multiple videos talking about the same problem, the cylinder heads. Um, now, uh, if you wonder uh, if it's good, if it's worth it to fix this cylinder head, yeah, it is worth it. But it will make, it, it can take a lot of time. That's the reason why we decided not to rush and fix this one. Instead, get another one that was already fixed. Uh, so if this is your case, don't, don't fix it. Just grab another one. And this one, you can send it as a core because this is a good core still because it doesn't have a crack. It doesn't have a crack on the bottom, doesn't have nothing. So that means then uh, it can be uh, called as a good core but it can take some time to fix it so uh it just that, that's the major issue time i know we are looking to spend less time because time is money so uh, uh but that that will that will be it. that that's the major concern about fixing this cylinder head but uh of course right now then we uh replace this cylinder head uh we know then uh we always have to pay attention to the valves adjustments on these cylinder heads and especially on cold when you start your engine you're always going to hear that hissing sound and I, I did a couple videos and that is because of the valve adjustment is out and uh, it could be a minor issue just adjusting the cylinder the cylinder heads uh, the valves on the cylinder head can fix this problem but if the problem doesn't go away, then you have to fix whatever is internally, then the problem is uh, having, the, the engine is having problems with. But up to right now, this is all I wanted to talk about. This, a different problem on this cylinder head that happened. Uh, the engine came running, the en engine was still running, but it was making noise, a lot of noise. Uh, but uh, luckily, it came with no problem. So, so you ha if you have this problem, uh, it's better to take care of the problem as soon as you can. But if you are on the road, you still could not be able to make it to your city. So that way, you don't spend money over the road. So, if you have any questions about this video? Just comment below. Uh, you can leave your questions, suggestions, experience. If you have any experience about these DD15 engines and uh, the problems that you run into is better than you comment below because there is a lot of people that is always asking questions about DD15 engines and uh, it is good to know if there is a solution for the problems. If you want to see me doing other things, you can go to Instagram, look for me, Francisco Maya YouTube. There is always something that I'm doing there. Um, make sure to support my channel by seeing the description of the video where I have details how to send support to the channel. And remember to like the video, share it, subscribe. Thank you for watching.